Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Spirit of Fire Awards 2009. Please welcome to the stage your host for tonight, BBC News presenter, Mr. Nicholas Owen. Thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, great to see you. What am I doing with this? You're asking yourselves, right? It was found in the ladies' toilet. I didn't find it, I promise you. Mm. Ooh, uh, right, we've got some fabulous prizes. Uh, <laughs> I don't mind. Someone wrote, good game, good game, on the auto game. <laughs> but I don't think I can do it. Oh, I'll try. Good game, good game. There we go, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Now, obviously, I love a man in uniform. It's just a shame it's so black tie tonight, isn't it? <laughs> My imagination's working overtime. And the winner is... <laughs> we couldn't let it go without doing that. <laughs> the winner is... I'd just like to add that, like Carol McGiffin, I too like a man in uniform, although I do draw the line at traffic wardens. Without a doubt, Jane, uh, when I was invited to attend tonight, it was an invitation that I really, genuinely could not refuse. Um, through my own personal experiences and my own charity work, I know firsthand the hardship of living with a debilitating injury. And I'm also very much aware of how very difficult that can make living with an in illness or injury uh, can be for the people and the family members around you. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what an introduction. Um, Got to say thank you very much for having us here tonight. The hospitality has been first class, and uh, thanks for making us feel really welcome. And did you see that Spanish firefighters were on their local version of Britain's Got Talent in Spain? Did you see that the other week? So we've got to do the joke. You all know the joke, community joking, all together now. Two Spanish firefighters, Jose and Jose B. Good, we got that over. <laughs> For those people that don't know George, he had this reputation of being a, a gambler and a drinker and a womanizer, and that was all true. <laughs> David and Janella has travelled all the way from France, and do you know why? Because you're worth it. <laughs> It's, it's not a, a, a very big deal. No, France is just next door. <laughs> we are like a load of kids anyway. But, uh, gentlemen, it's nice to see you, to see you. Nice! And it's nice to be here on this... What's that? Shut your face. <laughs> Don't you dare... Don't you dare ad-lib with genius, OK? <laughs> Yes, but I wanted to take this opportunity to express my admiration for the fire and rescue services right across the UK. Without hesitation, you continually put your own lives at risk. Hello, good evening. Well, earlier this year, I visited my local fire station in Beaconsfield, Buckinghamshire, to help raise funds for the firefighters' charity on National Car Wash Day. You know, it's in the skills, the dedication and the selfless acts of courage of all the men and women of our fire and rescue service that we see the true greatness of Britain. The whole of our country is proud of you. Oh, he says, he was once cut out of his own underwear after a particularly nasty accident. 